Let's talk about number one mistake doctors make with prostate cancer. Of course, I know there's many mistakes doctors can make, but what's, what's one of the biggest mistakes you still see doctors make with prostate cancer? Um, thinking that PSA should not be done for uh, screening. I didn't expect you to say that. That's interesting. I thought you were going to say something in the castrate resistant prostate cancer world. Well, um, but I mean, you know, I want to try to get to this early, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, now um, with COVID and all that, you know, people are talking about seeing more and more advanced patients. Okay. What about uh, number one mistake patients make in prostate cancer? Or one of the top mistakes patients uh, make overall. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Come hey, here. I Pretend like you. you like me on camera. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at this. Oh, this is my guy. Hi. This is Grazi. Hi. Grazi's here. Hey, you need some testosterone lowering medication. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the world's most famous oncologists. Don't you He's care? Right. No, I, I call this. I call this segment. This is, this is Tia Higanos. This is our first annual dog gone good question segment. So he brought an extra <laughs> question in his teeth. That was the setup. So I'll ask okay. you a question. Hey buddy, well, daddy loves you. I know, don't worry. I gotta let Tia know I've kept her going two hours. So, you know, dogs are getting a lot of attention in prostate cancer lately. They can apparently sniff out prostate cancer. That's yes, our new yes. dog, five That's months amazing. old. Oh my gosh, it's a, got a lot of energy. <laughs> Now I know why it's tough to have children when you're really old. Because <laughs> I talk to my husband about that. <laughs> I can't even take care of a dog. Anyway, so I'm sorry. Biggest mistake doc uh, patients make in prostate cancer you were thinking about. What's one of the what's one of the biggest mistakes you see them make? that you could offer a quick piece of advice that comes to the top of your head. Your one with doctors was really good. So the most, I think the most common mistake that I see is that in their eagerness to understand what's out there and read the literature, they commonly um, make conclusions based on research that's done in a laboratory mm. that has not been done on humans and they want to ask about all these different, you know, da 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 treatments. And I mean, you know, it's, it's understandable, but it, it is a mistake. I mean, stick with the human data, not with the test tube data. That's a really good one that I haven't actually heard in all my time of being a moderator for these conferences. Isn't that funny? <laughs> because I've lived that for 33 years, meaning people translate diet and supplements from the test tube. Same all thing. the time. And I always say, people always say, well, why don't you talk about this? And I say, there's so many people I could invite to the table and it'd be thousands. And, I, and if you're a mouse, I can cure you of prostate cancer with high <laughs> doses of this. But in humans, right. a lot of these things haven't worked, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I'll just, I'll just give you a classic example. Everyone has asked me for the entire year because I've been writing COVID updates with my public health background. I've been writing, I think I've done 16 of them. So now I'm immersed in COVID as my second job. And they've said, well, why aren't you commenting on the supplements that work against COVID? And I said, because I have no idea what in the hell supplements are going to work against COVID. So I'm not going to do the wrong thing here and pretend like anybody knows. Right. So right when the uh, pandemic started, people are saying, take zinc, take vitamin C, take vitamin D. And I'm going, who can say this? This hasn't even come out of a laboratory. So if I'm going to do the most responsible thing as the supplement guru of America, I'm going to keep my mouth shut and say, I have no idea because that's the truth. So yeah. what happens in the past two weeks? Cleveland Clinic publishes their data on zinc and high dose vitamin C for people outpatients. And it didn't work any better than just usual care. It doesn't mean supplements don't work against COVID. It just means everyone's got, everyone's got all the answers when it's in the test tube. Right. Exactly. I know. So that's, that's the most common mistake I, I think is worth commenting on.